Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the MB339 Air Mackey and we are going to be taking on the Eurofighter. So as you can see, I am in the Air Mackey. I'm going to be doing a little bit of underdog action here. I don't expect to do, on paper, I don't expect to do very well, um, but the Air Mackey has been full of surprises for us on the channel in the past. So. It is a quite an interesting aircraft. It performs really well. It is used as a trainer in the Italian Air Force, as far as I know. We have our Eurofighter here, uh, 11 o'clock co-altitude with us here. And merge, and I'm going to try to take them one circle. Uh, not very good rear visibility. And uh, we both reverse, so we're now in a two circle. I really should have done a cross check there to make sure I don't end up in a two circle with a Eurofighter. Luckily he came in slow speed. I think he actually might have also been trying to force a one circle. Can we get rounds on here? No. Look at that. It took, his, it took my eye off him for a second and he reversed that nose. Uh, and I am feeling very defensive already against the Eurofighter. Uh, that Eurofighter flown by Tron, by the way, is going to try to put on a show for us. I'm going to try to lose him in the clouds here. That did not work. Keep him one circle. See if we can get this guy into a, a slow speed fight. One where we can squeeze a Eurofighter out in front. Wow. Always trying to climb over or roll around that nose. Look at that, look at that. Oh my god, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Very scary to hear the sound of the gun <laughs> so clearly. Okay, here we go. I'm just trying to stay away from his nose right now, if I'm being honest. I'm super defensive. I can't go to the rate fight. I can't rate fight a Eurofighter. Just gotta keep him in that one circle roller make him cross the nose. It's so close. It's so close, man. I'm feeling a little bit better about how I'm staying away from his nose. Oh, this looks really good. Oh. Oh my god. He climbed up for <laughs> the last moment there. I would have bet my kidney that I would have killed him there, the way he was uh, about to cross my nose. And he has ditched out of that fight, trying to go for the two circle, almost getting rounds on him here. He's too slow for the, the two circle fight right now. Uh, and I might have to get an offset two circle going here. I don't know what other options I have against this guy. This Eurofighter. And he will conveniently reverse into the one circle for me. Thank you. Hold these rounds, dude. Dude, it doesn't matter what the bandit is. You cannot reverse in front of his nose like this. You just can't do it. Splash one Eurofighter. That thing is definitely going down. Yeah, we got an ejection. And, uh, oh, check out the new explosion effects. This is also a new thing that came in the update. It's bigger. 
I don't know if the effects are different, but it's bigger. Look at that. It's a nice big fireball. Makes you think like there was fuel in that. You know what I mean? Looks really good. That's the thing with the Air Mackey is usually when I bring it out, people lose to it at least in the first rounds until they figure out what's going on. And you can see a lot of panic moves happening. You know, I love to see that kind of stuff. Like people coming to one circles with the Air Mackey thinking they can beat it and then getting rounds fired at them and then ditching to the two circle because they're like, oh my God, that didn't work at all. But at that point, they're so slow that the air Mackie is just inside the circle it just you know points its nose drops a couple rounds on them and they're dead and it's absolutely shattering to the ego <laughs> to get killed by this thing man but this thing is weirdly capable i love this thing uh into the merch here one circle with the Eurofighter this time successful one circle i'm gonna use a little bit more of the vertical Okay, high altitude, not my best friend. I have very small intakes, very weak engines, relative to the Eurofighter, of course. Could it possibly happen? No, <laughs> it just, he just climbed over. Uh, so this is a high altitude one circle. In the sun with the clouds, visibility is not good. Although I can still see him over there. He is trying to use a little bit more of the vertical, you know, component when it comes to the, these things. And that's good. The, the climb into the vertical like you see there. Um, it makes it much more difficult for me. I can maybe get a gunshot here. Hold on. Come on. Oh, my God. That was close. Um, look, he panicked. He went down. I didn't have a lead there. I know it looked like I had a shot, but there was no lead. It would have missed. But look at this thing. This thing is kind of like annoying, right? Like he is annoyed right now. And this is really how the Air Mackie wins. It pisses off its opponent until it wins. <laughs> until he does something stupid out of being angry. Um, so you can see, yeah, see he's sticking to that vertical fight and he's using his superior thrust weight to stay above me and go to the rate fight. And at that point he should win. Yeah, you see him come around the circle there. Yes, 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 yes. Almost got the nose on there. But he, it seems like he's finally committed to the two circle fight. At which point, there's not much I can do in, in, in the Air Mackie. I just got to keep the speed up a little bit. So every time he comes down, I can climb over his nose or I can tighten down or something. I have options, basically, if I have some speed. And I actually do have him in a pretty nice one circle roller here. I'm always going to win the one circle against him. That's not true. Most of the time I'll, I'll win the one circle. Oh my god. Right as I'm talking shit. <laughs> These bullets go by. Alright, we're going into the clouds here. I can see him. I can make out the shape. You see that little glisten? It's his canopy. And I can make it out through the clouds. You just heard him go by. Now I've lost him. Now I don't know where he is. He's around here somewhere. I can hear him. 
Where is he? There he is. There he is. There he is. All right. Okay, I think he sees me. There was a little bit of an opportunity there when I thought he he couldn't see me, but looks like we are now in a raid fight on the deck. Definitely not a good place for me. Uh, as long as he's patient, he should be okay. And I might have to try to do the offset two circle thing again. Like the show for everybody underneath right now. I see a little Air Mackey trainer dogfighting against the Eurofighter. You see him now outrating me on my tail. And now I have to nose counter, but I can't see him, which makes it very difficult to nose counter. I don't have good rear visibility in this thing. Ow. Okay, ow. I think we're out of this one. Ow. Alright, yeah, I messed up. This thing's not responding anymore. You hear that spool down of the engines? That's never a good sound. Okay, and we're on fire. And beeping. Alright, we're definitely out of this one. <laughs> Alright, well now that he has discovered the key to killing the Ermaki using the Eurofighter, I don't suspect that we will win this round either. This is generally how it goes with the Ermaki. It starts off really well, shocking people, and then they adapt over time. But, you know, we'll see how it plays out into the merge here. And we're going in one circle, I'm using a bit of the vertical. And by a bit, I mean full nose up. and this will be I don't know if he got his nose on there it looked like he tried to point it but I don't really know I think this is going to be a very tight fight um, once again these beautiful clouds that ED has made you know sometimes you feel like you don't notice them as much and then sometimes you see them and they're incredible one of the best changes DCS has made in the last year Look at this. Oh my god, I don't know why he didn't pull the trigger there. That was either a reaction time issue or he didn't have gun selected. But if he was pushing down on the trigger there, he would have sawed me in half, I think. Uh, I'm going to get away with it, but I I'm going to not get away with it a second time, I think. But I can maybe get a gunshot here. Yo, oh my god, I hit him. I hit him. I saw the orange flash. Yeah, look at him. He's leaking something. Oh my god, I just did to him what he did to me. He's got to be kicking himself right now. If he pulled the trigger there, that would have never happened. That thing's not flying right for him. You can see it diving down. Probably hydraulics failure. Dives into the clouds. We're going to have to follow him down there and make sure he hits the ground. And there's the fireball, yeah. Alright, Splash 1 Eurofighter. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. 